having lunch at Jersey's 41 off the highway for about 100 miles or an hour's drive, maybe 60 miles. This is the only place that's open so far. Okay, we're here at Munising Pictured Rocks KOA. We drove, we left about 7 o'clock Duluth to get here at 4 o'clock. But then we lost an hour, so it's only three actually. But it still took eight it's, hours. It took eight hours. And the reason it took eight hours is because the freaking road, it would have taken longer. But I found several cars that were going 63, 65 miles an hour, so I tailed them. But the average speed limit is anywhere from 45 to 55 and Ashland that entire town the speed limit was 25 miles an hour that's why it took so long to get here there is no freeway in the upper peninsula so this is our only time that we're doing this upper peninsula because I don't like the roads up here there's no freeways and where we're located it's actually very nice because we are surrounded by trees so it's gonna be in the high 80s low 90s here again today in the upper peninsula of Michigan and it's gonna be nice because we are under trees as you can see all trees we're at Site 33, it's nice and long. However, all the utilities are towards the front, right here. And right now we are playing around with the location of Starlink because of all the trees. It's not happy. <laughs> we can't seem to get a satellite connection. So right now I have moved it to the very front and I doubt it's gonna work, but give it a shot. There's a clear sky path right here, and hopefully it connects. If it doesn't, we're gonna put it away and use our backup internet, which is Peplink with Verizon. All right, to go on with the rest of the site, it is 30 amps. Everything back here in the trees is 30 amps. Pull through. I could not get anything else, even though I booked six months ahead of time. Again, 30 amps in this RV park, so you are going to need a dog bone. Water pressure is good. They do have cable TV, because I do like my morning use, so we've set up the cable since we can't get... Since I don't want to burn internet minutes, this is how we're getting our media right now, cable TV water in water out and here at this park since we are meeting up with the Airstream caravan this Saturday we are going to do a black tank flush because our next park for three nights has no water or sewer we will see how we manage with that again it is a long site so on the back side is where I'm parking the truck right now and it goes all the way out there goes all the way out there so there's still ample space and there's another space for another truck here but again I don't like all the utilities being towards the front because I actually like to park the truck in front of the trailer as an additional security measure when I'm sleeping at night so I know the trailer doesn't move anywhere no Starlink access here because of all the trees so would I stay in this park again the answer is no, I would not. However, we are coming back to this park after the caravan tour with Airstream because it's on the way to our caravan tour for Fantasy RV Tours. So we're going to stay here for one night when we're near uh, Mackinac Island. We're not going to be on Mackinac Island, but there's a that's the final stop of the caravan tour for Airstream is a KOA park out near Mackinac Island and from there we jump off to here and then from here we go back to Duluth 
again, the Upper Peninsula does not have freeways. They do have roads that speed limit goes up to as high as 55. However, if you can get behind a logging truck, they go 65. So find the logging truck or have, have one pass you and then once they do, get on their tail and just follow them. <laughs> That's what I did for almost 400, for about 100 miles. One, one veered off and then another one passed me and I got on his tail and followed him or her. And if you like trees and don't need to, don't use Starlink, beautiful park. And they also spray here because there's very few flying bugs, flies, mosquitoes. Today we are at Pictured Rocks National Lakeshore in Munsing, Michigan. Multicolored sandstone cliffs, beaches, sand dunes, waterfalls, and inland lakes, wildlife and forests of, the, of Lake Superior shoreline beacon visitors to explore the 73,000 acre park Attractions include a lighthouse and former Coast Guard life-saving stations. It's supposed to be really pretty. So, we're here at the North Shore Visitor Center. Because the other one near Munsing is closed for remodeling until next year. There is RV parking, but it's not for big rig RV parking. I would not be able to fit. Yeah, Okay, this is the way to the sand dunes. Ooh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, that's a steep drop. I think we're just gonna stay over here. <laughs> okay, we're not gonna go any further because we gotta climb that hill again. What a beautiful view though. From here, it looks like the trail just drops down. It does drop down to about 80 to 70 degrees down. So you got a good heart, you can do it and get back up again. According to this, the descent is 500 feet in a matter of seconds. <sighs> but I'll take you an over an hour to get back up. We did what we could. <laughs> okay, this is how they brought the logs here. This was for the horses and the wheel, and then they put the logs in the sled 
to get it up to the sand dunes where they slid the logs down to Lake Superior. Here we are at tourists, I don't know what the place is called, but I think this is where we're at, where we have, most of us is going to have electric, water, and sewer. Now, according to the, to the places we're going to, most, I don't know what most means. Half of us, quarter of us, one third of us, 90% of us is going to have sewer. Most to me is 60%. 51, yeah. Or, yeah, well, Walter thinks it's 51. But this is where we will be staying, I think. I got to look at the itinerary for the places we're staying at. Actually, this would be one of the few places where a back in is worth it because look, you actually get a view from your, mm -hmm. from the rear view mirror, from the rear, rear view window. Okay, here I would not mind backing in because of the view from the rear view mirror window. Ruder. I ordered a Philly steak. Philly cheesesteak soup. Philly cheesesteak soup. Means it probably has mushrooms in it. Oh, really? We put a microphone attachment to the mic, so I'm actually seeing how much better the sound is, even though it's very loud here right now. Walter got, what did you get? Taco salad. Taco salad. And I got the Porter House rare with fries and it comes with a breadstick. Make it four, four medium so beets. It's, it's a really, it's not necessarily a profitable thing to do. He makes a little bit of money, but, but enjoy. We're there? I don't know. I don't know. At $12 so far. Are you kidding me? That's it. Okay. How much you say? 12 Okay. What else we... No, that's it. Did you throw a peach in there yet? No. Oh, at least one. You want one of these? Sure. Th pick out a good one for us. We'll eat it tonight. I haven't really picked my own. I'm going to have it have it tonight for dessert. He's been picking my own veg. It'll be good. And here with this tomato. That sounds good. Thirteen bucks. Just give him fifteen. You can keep that. It's fine. Oh, thank you so much. Fine like that. Is that where we're going? No. Okay, I don't know where we're going. Oh, I think you said Mexican. Okay, this building doesn't have any... And she's locking the door. She's locking the door. So that's not where we're going. What are you looking for? A Mexican restaurant that's oh. supposed to be right here? It's right here. Oh, thank you. We just parked a little further away than we thought. Well, it's we right went here. to the little... Okay. Oh, there was big parking right there. <laughs> thank you very much. Oh, <gasps> No, that's an older Camaro. It's got the... Ours was eight. They made a lot more sixes than they did eights. What? I thought it was the other way around. You remember we had to wait three months to get an eight? No. Oh, yes. Okay, we're going to Taco Tomatias. Hello. Taco Patomus. It was okay. It wasn't. It wasn't really Mexican. It was just meat. And Mexican tortilla. fusion. Yeah, Mexican fusion. I guess that's the best way to describe it. The burrito was excellent. The chips and salsa. The salsa was funky. It was burnt. <laughs> no, the salsa was funky. Oh no, the salsa the, the, was funky, and the, the the chips were burnt. The chips were burnt. <laughs> All right. Rice and beans were excellent. The the beans was good. The rice was burnt. <laughs> we are back here at Foggy's and today may be our last day for wearing at least shorts. Mm -hmm. 
It's cold. It's cold, which is nice because yes. we're going into 30 amp territory when we start the caravan tour with Airstream on Saturday. It's our table now. I guess this is our table. We got salad with ranch dressing. That's huge. Yes, sir. Big piece of meat is for 36 ounce bone in ribeye. Okay, I ordered that. Rare. Rare? Rare. Yes, sir. No salt? Yep. Okay. No, there is a little bit of Montreal, or salt in our Montreal salt. Yeah, that's all. This is really good. They, they just took it over the coals. Okay, mine's gonna be a one. <laughs> yes, sir. I didn't know you were cooking a cow. <laughs> Take about 45 minutes to medium. Okay. But for years, it'll probably take about 25 25, okay. We got the 36 ounce bone in cowboy steak. What I don't eat tonight is lunch fried, fried garlic fried rice with steak tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon. And we also got some sort of the heat the thing. There's no mushrooms in this room. No. Okay. Here is Walter in his opinion of this KOA campground in Munensing, Michigan. Michigan, yes. Uh, it, it's a nice little campground. It was quite a downgrade from the last one we were in. We went from 50 amps to 30 amps. We went from having Starlink to not having Starlink. We have very spotty Verizon. The KOA's internet is up and down regularly and quite but slow. But we are able to stream. But we are able to stream on the iPad. Other than that, yeah, it's okay. We can get by with one air conditioner and it's, it's a struggle. It's, it, these are just struggles that we have to put up with at 30 amp sites. So, anyway, that's life. I still processed payroll for one of my companies successfully, and all is well. Thank you for watching.